Good morning, Comic-Con weekend, finally. I was awake at 6am for this, so I shouldn't have been yawning that much, but it's me. I love my sleep. And now it's time to get ready, so enjoy this little sped up getting ready with Mochi. Quick warning, there is like two seconds of um, eye touching in both day one and day two. Admiring the look, I love these contacts by the way, they're my favourite contacts And now we are on our way, just you know, bus travel because we're not walking it Thank you, I made it I saw the fabric My wig also does something I got it I light up Oh, I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that's very good. Thank you. Did you. That yes, I did. You are very talented. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Make sure you have a good day. I will. Thank yes. you. Goodbye. Bye. And I have my friends day and night as. Um, Angel Dust and Ariella Cos as Laguna Blue and then Emmy as Toga. Look at look at the props. Like, these are nice props. Anyways, I'm doing this little pack thing. Bye. 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 You know what? Bye. Bye. Now go down with this one. Bye. Bye. Fist bump. I can't fist bump that bottle one. Let's just do that. I want to do this with Abby as our angels. Cosplayer up, please! I knew Liverpool was going to be good. I knew you were going to be a good crowd. Okay, come to the front. Let's have a look. Woo! Beautiful. Hello, and what is your name? Mochi. And what is your character's name, in case we didn't know? Sleeping Beauty. Wow, you look amazing. How long have you spent making this? Let's not forget she's handmade this costume, guys. How long have you spent doing this? About two weeks. Wow, that's really fast. Oh, she's gone hard. You know she's been doing all-nighters on this. I have. <laughs> and what made you choose this character? Um, she's basically inspired off one of my friends. She's a nickname, Sleeping Beauty, and she's my favorite altogether. So I made it out of basically honor to her. Wow, I'm so impressed. Thank you. So, if you can perform for us. Hey.
for your winner of Liverpool 2024 Championship Public Vote. Let's hear it. I got a cookie at Astro Design Store. Yummy. It was actually very yummy. And then it was lunch last dinner time. We just sat here. We just wanted food, okay? And it was like what we thought was hidden up the way of people. Look at those chips. They were nice chips. And then we, me and Dane and I got left alone. So we just chilled and chatted. Before I headed up to the Harry Potter panel and I got to ask a question. So here's my question, by the way. Who's taller than me? I was so shocked when I was Liverpool, I'm going to ask you one time are you ready to meet Jason Isaacs and Ray Fiennes? to sit on here. We could fit half of these people on the couch. We've been calling it the Liverpool Lounge today. Nice. Yes. Well, thank you for being here. Don't they look fabulous, everybody? <laughs> We're on age today since 25 years ago when we made these films. Well, first question for you. What is it like to be reunited here in Liverpool together? When's the last time you saw each other? A, a long time. Well, we saw each other last night in the hotel. <laughs> but do you remember the first time I met you? I don't know. Terrible question. I remember the first time I met you. When was that? Uh, there was a, they discovered a, uh, the remnants of Shakespeare's first theatre, the Rose Theatre. Oh, yeah. We went down, we were either still students or were baby actors or something. And I went down there and uh, Ian McKellen was there, it wasn't Sir yet, it was Ian there. And Simon Evans, the, the MP. And Ray was there and someone knew who you were. I'm not sure we'd started an acting. Someone I think had checked you or something like that. Something like that. <laughs> someone knew you knew well or maybe had a thing with you. I was very innocent then. Right. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was I, I was acting, I was acting. But you had a, I knew your name somehow, and I who where is something that done and I thought, God, he's pretty, isn't he? That's what I mean. I don't it, know it was quite an interesting, it was the, they found the remains of one of the old Elizabethan theatres, the Rose Theatre, where Shakespeare's early plays had been performed, and there was a big call out in the theatre community, because the contractors were going to build a big office block on top of it, so there was a big yeah. movement to save it, which we did. And we did. We, we protested and we stopped there until they decided they weren't going to do it and they built around it or something. Yeah, it was amazing. Well, you just mentioned Shakespeare, so I have to have a question for Mr. Fines. Your directorial debut, Shakespeare's Coriolanus, amazing film. Yes, of course. Can you tell us what it was like to step behind the camera in that way? Uh, yeah, it was, it was scary, of course, but um, it, it, I, was, I actually had a conversation with, with Mel Gibson, of all people, who offered to... Sorry, you just dropped it there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it. I'm not ashamed of dropping it. He's very sweet. Yes. He, he was, a, he, as you know, a great actor-director, and he, uh, he said, the thing is, you'll be nervous, because it will be your first time behind the camera, and I, in, I don't know if you've seen the film, there's a is a battle sequence in it, and that was the very first few days of filming, was this huge battle sequence, which is difficult and complicated. But he did say, you will know more than you think you know, because you've been um, on film sets, and that's, that's true. I'll tell you what was the most, the big learning curve was editing, right. was seeing all the footage and having to decide with an editor what to use. That was the big, what I worked in. I worked with Mel, who was always trying to encourage me to direct when we did The Patriot, and he, uh, he said to me, the thing that he found out uh, with me, so the thing I found out is, acting's really easy. I'd be sitting there saying, do all the complicated stuff, and they'd go, Mel, you're in this scene, they go, oh shit, sorry. And they'd get in front of the camera, and when he was used to agonise about scenes, he went, I just didn't even think about it, and I realised I could do it just as well, without thinking about it. 
question up here on the left. Um, microphone number four. Hi. Um, so as you know, you're obviously slaving, but do you feel like you're a different house of Harry Potter? Oh, no, I, I'm a slaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I, mean, I don't really see the point of the other houses. I mean, you've got to have someone to have some of the house on but the yellow one and the blue one, which I refuse to name, they're just... <laughs> Of course, I'm sticking with Slytherin. Yeah. <laughs> Great question. Afterwards, got my Funko side, and then well, just headed home where I watched um, Strictly and f basically sorted the hell out of my Junko hammer. I was not happy about waking up at five in the morning, but good morning. It is time to get ready for day two, and just like before, there is eye touching to put in contacts, but enjoy the sped up, get ready. <laughs> room to dump my stuff and look i was ready i had to tear apart my room for the skirt which we do not talk about but i'm always junk out i'm so happy about it i will say the reaction you're about to get is from ariella um cosplay she basically styled the wig and she's been waiting to see junko in person um we're literally bobbing about trying to find stuff which after a while we did find and yeah um, we had a little video taken. This is these two getting their video taken. Then I did. That was not clipped. Look at her little penguin walk. Do you blame her? Look at those shoes. Anyway, she did strut her stuff in the next clip. So, like, enjoy her just strutting that stuff like she was showing off. See? She be a model. She walk like a model. Talk like a model. Pink like a model. Ah. Now, here's the reaction. We got the Where's the reaction. you from? Where's you from? I see it. Oh, oh. I don't know where. I don't know where. Here. <laughs> oh, bro, you look so fucking cool. <laughs> She's real. She's real. Look at my masterpiece, everyone. Look at my masterpiece. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> did you like it? Did you like it? I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs>
took about two hours and yeah, Vasco gave up with the show. <laughs> dancing. And then it was the minute of silence, which I'm so happy the entire Comic Con comes to standstill, which it actually felt so nice, honestly. You didn't believe her. Well, yeah, look, he dances too. Oh my god! Talking I love it. myself. Maestro, are you ready? Competitors, are you ready? Yeah, okay, take it away! Please. Go! Give him a 
a chair, please. It was time to eat. We were honestly still in shock. Everyone saying a little hello. Obviously, a few of us weren't on there, but a few of us were. It was food time. The food was actually so nice, honestly. Cosplayers are just de-cosplayed for this. And then it was them filming a TikTok. Yeah, I have the behind the scenes. <laughs> After I filmed TikToks, they were having a little mother's meeting. They were, they were drinking Sneak, which is a sly. I don't know why he took the actual caffeine. Yeah. Yeah. This is the last panel of the day. It's Comic Con Liverpool, presented by the Monopoly events. It's Sunday, Sunday, and I think we've saved the best for last. Am I right? <laughs> Liverpool style to Sebastian Stan! <laughs> just really want to say this like from the heart I, I, I want to thank all of you for for coming 
kids, parents, driving hours, flying, it's expensive. There were a lot of gifts, there were a lot of beautiful things that were said to me. You guys gave me great hugs, and <laughs> I'm really, really blessed to have gone to meet you, and um, I felt really welcomed, and I just thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Number four up at the top on the left. Hi, sorry, I'm crying as well. <laughs> um, sorry, my question's gone. This is about the new trailer. Um, we see the Winter Soldier pull the arm out of the dishwasher. <laughs> Now, both Bucky and Shorty are my favourites. Did Bucky give Shorty a heart attack, or did Shorty tell him he can do that? Well, um, I, I'm pretty sure he kind of looked at the dishwasher one day and thought, why not? <laughs> makes, makes a lot of sense, you know? Um, I thought it was kind of funny uh, when I first saw that, you know, in the script. Um, but it, it is a quick way of doing it, you know, at the end of the day. Just throw it in there with a couple of, you know, leftover dishes and stuff. So, I think it was his idea. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I was going to be like, Jesus, baby, baby. No, not, not that one. That one, that one you know. I, uh, I, I can listen to anything by Hall and & Oates, and I'll be fine. Um, uh, this Must Be The Place is a really good one. Always puts me in a good mood. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that? It's tough. That, you're gonna, uh, one song for the rest of your life it, is gonna be going insane, but. Thank you, great question. While we have the time here, we're in Liverpool. Are you a Beatles fan? I mean, who isn't a Beatles fan? It's unbelievable <laughs> what they have done. They, they changed music. It's really, I, and I'm, I, I, didn't, I didn't leave the hotel in here, so I haven't even gone around Liverpool. I really wanted to see where, they, where they've been, or what, you know, the whole history. Uh, they're making four movies, I think. Right? I mean, it's going to be pretty wild, so, yes. What do you think? Should you take him out in Liverpool tonight? What do you think, guys? <laughs> the Cavern Club, let's go. We have a question over here on microphone four on the top left. Hi, um, my name is Lauren. I'm actually here from Australia. Um, quite a long way. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I had a similar question two or three years ago, but I'll ask a different one. Um, if you could, um, if you would go back to Broadway or the West End, what would you like to be in or what's your dream role? I've been thinking a lot about that West End lately, to be honest. And somebody had asked me a couple of times about it. Yeah, and I, and I think it's, I'm going to figure out a way because you're taking more risks in, on the West End than on Broadway. There's, there's more nuance and, and originality, I think, I feel. So I, I would be excited about the West End. I, you know, I'm always looking for for something, uh, you know, to do. It's it's all about the time period and who you're doing it with, you know. It's like if you're gonna be with that person or those, you know, that company for four months or whatever, it's, it's important. But um, if you got any ideas, um, you know, even for me and Chris Evans, <laughs> just uh, just email our uh, representatives, <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll make it happen. But yeah, Ho West End singers. I was gonna kill it, and I think Bucky would. No, Steve, try fresh. That's. Yeah. <laughs> And so Steve, would Steve would probably be singing part, so that would be counterproductive. <laughs> Very good point. Very good point. Um, who else? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess Tommy would be probably would I know what to do with. Hammond would have done quite well. T.J. Hammond, yes. Yeah, he. I think he would have. I think he would have known. He would have been brave to carry him. Yeah. So Thank you, people. Sebastian. 20,000 until someone asks. Yeah. <laughs> but I I think there's good, you can always go Billy Idol, you could go to the doors. Um, 
There's Beyonce. <laughs> um, wait. Uh, yeah. Who? What else? Goo Goo Dolls. Oh yeah. That. I mean. I don't know. I don't know that one. We're gonna get some lyrics up on the screen if you know. <laughs> <don't. laughs> Make you sing for your supper. Well, I know you have to get back to your photo ops and your autographs, so just waiting for that. My horns are going to be so good. Hey, Roscoe X, what's the name? Junk, junk up. Me X, stop it, stop it, stop it. No! Comic Con Liverpool weekend. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Bye!